when you think of, of sleep, we think of sleep in two ways. We think of sleep in a behavioral way so that when you observe somebody who's sleeping, you realize they're not interacting with their environment. So the, out, the external environment to them, they've got into a, a place or state of being where they're not aware of their external environment, but they can be easily aroused from that state, unlike a, a coma. So that's really more of a behavioral definition. But sleep is a very complex physiologic process. And there's stages, there's REM sleep, and what we call non-REM sleep, and you'll transition through these different stages. And what is the purpose of sleep? Well, we, we really are still in our infancy in understanding this whole process of sleep, but we do know that sleep does have some restorative process. It also has control over different physiologic processes, and when you don't get sleep, we know it has a significant impact on many different organ systems. So different parts of sleep are responsible for learning, and, and dreams allow you to actually think through different scenarios and come up with new and novel solutions that you might not have come up with during the, the wakefulness state. Well, you normally transition into sleep into stage one as adults, and then you'll go into those other stages, and you'll, you'll usually go stage one, stage two, and then the, the stage three or four, and again, now we're just saying there's just the, the stage three, and then into REM. And you cycle through these, these, these stages, one, two, three, and REM, every 90 to 120 minutes. And as you go through the night, we actually start to see more and more REM sleep occurring in the earlier, so later in the evening, in the early morning hours, so say 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. on. And earlier in the evening, you have more of the deeper stages of sleep.